just like that. Richard squirreled on me. <laughs> a lot of things to do and stop when you're on the Mississippi River Road. We're Rich and Chris. We hit the road in April of 2020, traveling full-time on motorcycles. Remember, it's not what you ride, but that it's your ride. So we landed, uh, we rode about 200 miles yesterday. We landed in... Uh, Wait a minute. And... We rode. We rode 200 miles and it took us seven hours. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of things to do and stop when you're on the Mississippi River Road. <laughs> I think Richard's kind of regretting taking me down here because I love all the old historical stuff. I'm like, oh, old building, we have to stop. But anyway, so we made it to Hannibal and we stopped at what's called the Mark Twain Cave and Campground just for a quick night, popped Ruby up. Now we're getting ready to tear her back down. Today is even a shorter ride. We are going to only go a little over 100 miles. Our goal right now is Alton, Illinois. So we'll see, we'll see how that works. Again, lots of things to do along the way. So we hope you enjoy and we'll see you out on the road. So what, what's your camper called? Aspen. It's, it's an, an Aspen Classic. Okay. And it has it's a... It's a 2016. And it has what size bed? With king size bed in it. Okay. Uh, nice little room in case the weather gets bad, you can jump in there. It's a pop-up tent and we just, and we got the screen in porch for it. Um, so it would uh, go all around. We also have a rain curtain that will attach to it as well. We could actually, uh, this trip actually, we were in a rain all day on a Saturday and we was able to stay in there and do yeah. our normal stuff. That's nice. And you pull all this with what? Uh, that right there. It's a 2014 Limited. Uh, Harley Davidson. Okay. And uh, we've pulled this about 10,000 miles so far. Nice. nice. And I'm impressed because you're doing this two up. Oh, yes. Yeah. Two up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We are going to look for Mark Twain's. We'll hit home. That's what's on the agenda. That's where we're going. So hopefully we'll see you there. Okay, so guess what? The Mark Twain, it's a bust. Why? It's actually a museum. It's not open, so it's okay. We're on motorcycles and we're just gonna keep riding down the Great River Road. This is an interesting section of the Great River Road from Hannibal, maybe all the way to Alton, is we've left the cornfields and oh, it's yeah. very forested here. Well, uh, yeah, and lots I, of hills. Of yes. Hills. And some twisties. Kind of interesting because we have, for weeks now, we've just been going through cornfields after cornfields and soybeans. And yep. just now, all of a sudden, it's like, blam, no more fields. Here's all these trees. <laughs> As the Mississippi River World unfolds for us, it's kind of neat to see the uniqueness of it. It doesn't just all stay the same. It's got a lot of, um, as we continue to go south, it's going to keep changing. And I'm Eager to, cool. I know, I'm eager to find out what else we're going to discover. I didn't know about it. <laughs> yeah.
Nope. So this is Louisiana, population 300 or 3,364. So where do you live, Louisiana, Missouri? I know. I know. <laughs> when you when you said okay, we're gonna we're gonna go to Louisiana today, I'm like, wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we're gonna go to Louisiana, Missouri. <laughs> Guess what we did? Left Hannibal and forgot to get gas. <laughs> you would think after a year and a half on the road that gas would be just automatically, hey, check, no. We get on the road and Richard's like, oh, hey, I got like 40 miles left. So we hightailed it into Louisiana. Louisiana, Missouri. <laughs> to get much needed petrol. This is what I think is cool, just being able to stop on the side of the road and see all these cool, unique, interesting old buildings. So we uh, veered off on a road that said rip ramp boat landing. So far we've been going down about two miles. Well, but it's paved. It is paved. Oh, I see, I see a boat. I mean, I see a trailer. A trailer? Yeah, and there's room for you to turn around here. Okay. We're good. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> sent, we sent you up front yeah. in, in the dirt bike yeah. with the dirt bike to get us up here to see what, what we can, yeah, what's out here. We, we'll make lunch here by this. Uh, in the shade. I was just going to say, where do you want to go? In the shade over here, I just think. Nice and hard, it is. All right, so we made it all the way down here to this boat launch, right next to the Mississippi River. And it was and it was all paved. Yeah, except, it was for, this all, except for this little, like, yeah. maybe last quarter mile was not paved. Yeah. And then we whipped everything out of the cooler to make sandwiches. So here's our table. And everything we could think to put on sandwiches, I think we did. Mm -hmm. All right, lunch is over. Richard's lathering himself up with sunblock. We're back on the road. Where this part takes us. So it's going to take us. It takes us off the river road. Should we go? This is just a spur. Can we get back on the river road? Yeah, we've got to go back down through a bunch of straight lines. Okay. I don't care what you want to do. I 
say it's not on the river road, we don't take it. Okay. We thought these semis were flashing lights at us, and we thinking there's a there's deer on the side of the road. He's one guy's even pointing. There's de there's deer. That's what I that's what my brain is saying. We get up about two miles and uh, it's a speed trap. <laughs> Thanks guys, but man, I was on high alert. Going on this bridge. So this bridge crosses the Illinois River, not the Mississippi. Yes, and they're super cool bridges. Oh man, and that was a really pretty one. Yep. And, they're, and they're steel. That's what gets me, they're not, they're not these bridges are not young bridges, you know, they're not, we weren't built in the 90s. Yes. <laughs> being for bridge. They were probably built in the 40s and 50s, most of them. So riveted, you know, they're hot, look like they're hot, riveted truss bridges. Yeah, they should put the date on them. That'd be cool. 14's right there. 14's right there. So we did not make it all the way to Alton, like we originally said, and that's okay. We saw a sign for a visitor center. We stopped in and lo and behold, it was actually uh, Pierre Marquette State Park and they had availability. We decided not to push on down the road any further. So we're camping here for the night. Is he over there? Can you see him? <laughs> He's over there somewhere. Cooler needed a good wash. You know how sometimes you have to empty your refrigerator out and clean it? It was time to do that with the cooler. So yeah, before we end up with food poisoning or botulism or something horrible that we don't want on the road. Are we back in business? Yeah, I think so. We're not gonna, we're not gonna die? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that was. I think it's the garlic. I think it was just the garlic. Okay. This garlic just is powerful inside. Yeah. Well, just... now we got a clean, uh, we can have our clean refrigerator. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly what it was. Looks garlic's like good, it's just so powerful in a confined space, you know? Looks like we're having garlic for dinner. Yeah, we're having some garlic with whatever vegetable we're having. Anyway, so we're camping here, and then we'll be hitting the road, and... You can hear the gunshots. We're just outside of a major city. No. <laughs> He's packing up his motorcycle cover. <laughs> okay. We are gonna ride into St. Louis. Not my favorite thing to do. We usually try to avoid major cities like the plague, but there's a outdoor RV show. We're gonna go wander around, and... And um, see what our options are. You know, we need to explore our next step. That's it. The change yes. is good. Get ready to start thinking about it. Yes. All Whatever right. it is, we don't know what it is yet. That's that's how new, that's how fresh in our brains this is. <laughs> we don't even know. All right, yes. So, so I, I know we have uploaded videos in some really interesting places, but I think this this is the most um, this is the hardest one. It's already at four percent. I just started it. <laughs> so says uh, less than 40 minutes. So right next to the campground where we're resting is a permanent resting place. <laughs> <laughs> a permanent resting place. That's funny. Uh, it's kind of weird having a um, cemetery in kind of your backyard where you're camping. But yeah. anyway, here is this beautiful church dating back from 1876 that we had to wander over and take a look at. Isn't that awesome? 1876. Okay, good morning. Uh, we're getting ready to get back on the Great River Road. Yeah, looking forward to what this next stretch of the road has to offer. We're at Pier Marquette State Park. Uh, the next closest town is Grafton. And so we're getting ready to head through Grafton and we're gonna stay on the Illinois side this go round and see what that has to offer. So we will see you guys out on the road. Just like that, Richard squirreled on me. <laughs> We're driving through Grafton. He sees a bunch of hot rod cars and immediately has to pull over and go check them out. Let's see what he thinks.
largest flag on the Mississippi River. And it's half mast for either of those 13 soldiers that died. All right, this is supposed to be the largest flag on the Mississippi River. We're hungry. <laughs> we're hungry, so we're, we're going to Ojans. Yes, we're in the little town of Grafton, and we're trying to figure out what a hot fish sandwich is. Play a small, a muscle, a potato salad, and a water. And we'll split it. Okay. There's the slaw, there's potato. I'm guessing, I'm gonna guess that that's buffalo. Is it? And that's catfish, because that kind of looks like catfish. Kind of looks like catfish. Here's the thing I think we're struggling with. We're struggling with our home cooking. We're kind of bored with it. And we're trying to find um, unique places to eat. Because we want to share that with you guys too. Yes, yeah, absolutely. That's the main thing. And you know. so far we've stumbled across, we've we realized that we're not bar food eaters. No. And now we realize that we're not fried fish eaters. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we're just in a funk on food. I don't know what the deal. I don't know what's going on. I think we are. I think we're in a funk on we, a lot I, of things. I think we're in a funk on a lot of things. I think there's some there's some changes that are in the air. I feel that it's kind of wafting change. The well, well. Days are getting shorter and just things are changing. In 18 months we've been in a tent and we're we're thinking of change. We are moving really, really slow. Really <laughs> slow because the further south we go, the further south we go is uh, the warmer it is. So we're trying to keep it slow, slow enough so we don't overheat. Yes. Because we don't need to be down to New Orleans until we've only got 400 miles. We could do that in a day. I know. We do that. You can see the river here. Right here is where the Illinois comes in to the Mississippi and up the, up or downstream just a little bit is where the Missouri comes into the Mississippi so all three of these rivers come together basically just north of St. Louis and now you can see how big it is this Mississippi just keeps getting bigger and bigger I, and bigger I know and I just laugh at how <laughs> <laughs> not, not too long ago, I got to walk across the Mississippi River. <laughs> right. giant actually it's a water tower it's 170 feet tall it's shaped in the shape of a ketchup bottle and it was built in 1949 1949 yes isn't that cool oh wow there you go yeah. so let's see we've seen so far uh, Paul Bunyan Paul Bunyan yep uh, a, um, a, a pheasant, pheasant the world's largest pheasant yes we have a rocking chair in one of our very first videos. Yes, and now, yeah, yeah and uh, now we've seen a ketchup bottle. Oh, oh, wait, and, and a, and a six-pack oh, of beer. That's right, full of beer. Full yeah. of beer, actual yeah. beer. Yeah, that you can yeah. drink for a really long time, and you'd never drink it all.
Dollar Electric. Where is it? Okay, so I don't know if you can tell what we have. But we have these little, <laughs> these little tree Coronas. <laughs> <laughs> that all need to go bye-bye before we yeah. can set Ruby up. <laughs> yes. All of them. We just saw a camping sign. We were headed to Chester. Actually, we saw a weird camping sign. It went left and it went right. So we decided to go right. We ended up in what's called Fort Kaskaskia. And they have um, sites. It's a vault toilet. There's water, but there's no shower. That's okay. We just popped up our regular, our portable shower, our solar shower. And it's warm enough that we don't even need to heat the water up. So it's all good. It's a beautiful site. There's hardly anybody here. We are going to enjoy the heck out of this one. So anyway, we're going to settle in for the night, make a quick dinner, and probably watch something on YouTube. Here's the other cool thing about this campground, Fort Kaskaskia, is it's just us and one another person. There's two motorhomes here. We think one's the camp host, but it's the, they're empty. And it's just, yeah, it's a deserted, beautiful little campground out in Illinois. Go figure. What are we doing today, Richie? We are <laughs> gonna go find Popeye. I know. We're dating ourselves here. <laughs> yeah. We're not eating a can of spinach, so. Why not? Yeah. I like spinach. Okay, we, I will buy like regular spinach, but not a can. Oh, you don't want a can of spinach? No. You gotta take the can and crush the can. <laughs> yes. And it flies <laughs> in a perfect, perfect shape directly into his mouth. I know.